hey everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is paula thank you so much for joining me today today's video i'm going to create a beautiful wood look i'm going to do this technique to my tired white dresser now this dresser was painted about four years ago using chalk paint so i'm hoping that this technique is going to work because i've never tried it before but i'm really excited to share it with you so let's just jump right into the video so this video has taken me a little bit to decide what to do to this dresser. My white painted dresser is becoming a little tired. So I really wanted to create a different look, but I wasn't sure which way to go. Now the steps that I'm going to do, of course, it's removing the hardware first. Then I'm going to lay down a drop sheet. This is just a dollar store shower curtain that I'm using. Then I'm going to get a bowl of warm water with dish soap. I have Dawn dish soap in here. You could use any soap and just really thoroughly scrub down your furniture. Now I'm using a little inexpensive scrub brush, plus I'm also going to use an inexpensive J cloth to wipe the top of it. There was a little bit of glue residue from when I moved in here that I didn't realize was there. Then I'm gonna take this Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color Chiffon Cream. It's absolutely dreamy. Then you apply a generous layer of chalk paint. So the technique that I'm going to do to this dresser, because it's a few steps that you have to do, um, you have to have a lighter color as your base coat. So I have a white, but if you prefer like dark colors, let's say like blacks, then paint your furniture a gray or a silvery gray, or else this technique is not going to work. I have to say that I really struggled with what color to choose. I was back and forth at the paint store with paint chips stuck all over my dresser, trying to figure out what color I could live with. But I'm really confident in the color that I chose today. I think that the technique is going to look absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to create a faux, like a white oak look using the chalk paint. So I'm just going to continue to load up the paint and just make sure that the surface is completely covered. And then once the surface is completely covered and I'm satisfied with the amount of paint that's on here, I'm then going to take an inexpensive brush. Now you can use anything that's around your home. I got this from the dollar store and very gently I'm just going to drag this across the dresser. Now very little pressure is applied here. I'm not digging into the dresser, excuse me, dresser. I'm just dragging the brush across. And now I'm doing like a very light sweeping motion. And this will lift some of the paint, but the finish that this technique gives you is amazing. So just keep doing this all over to get the look that you like. Just keep playing with it. Now your brush is gonna load up with paint, so just have a dry, clean J cloth or paper towel or something handy so you can continually wipe off the brush because you don't want that to be filling up with paint because it'll wreck the finish. So you're now gonna continue the same type of technique to the rest of the dresser. So load it all up, get a really good layer of chalk paint on there. Once you're satisfied with that, you're going to take that brush again and then you're going to drag it across the exact same way that you did to the first one until you get that finish that you like. And then continue the same technique to the rest of the drawers. One thing I forgot to say earlier is try to keep the brush straight up and down. Try not to let it lean too much on its side. That will change the finish that you get on your dresser. Me 
Now, earlier I mentioned about having the brush lean for the top of the dresser. I chose to try that technique and see what it looks like. And I ended up liking it for the top of the dresser. Later in the video, you'll see what I'm talking about, the type of finish that it gives you. And I will also show you a close up of the drawers so you'll see the difference. But it was a really nice contrast, I guess, uh, by changing up the direction of the brush. So this is what it looks like. Such a pretty soft look. And it looks like wood. So I'm just gonna continue and do the same technique to the rest of the drawers and get that all finished. And then we'll move to the next step. So this is the dresser now, it's fully painted. The technique is done to the entire dresser. Now I could very easily just leave it like this because it looks absolutely beautiful. And you could only go to this step too if you want to, but I would like a little more definition. I would like all of those brush strokes to come out a little bit more. And to do that, I'm gonna use this antique glaze from Rust-Oleum. Now I've never used glaze before in my life. I was a little nervous about it. So it's gonna go on a little dark, as you're gonna see right now. Don't freak out about that. So the idea is this, brush it on. Now I'm not gonna cover the entire drawer, just a little bit, okay? Have a wet, clean J cloth, okay? And now you're just going to rub that. So just rub it across, work it into all of those grooves, you only have a certain amount of work time and then the glaze is gonna set up. So you have to work pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna continue to wipe this across the drawer until I get the finish that I want. Again, I'm trying to achieve a white oak look. So I'm just gonna keep working it. There's not a lot of pressure that I'm applying to the dresser. I'm just simply just wiping it, pressing it into all of those grooves, and then just pulling it or dragging it across the dresser. But I'm working in one direction, so you're not gonna do circles or anything. You're just gonna keep dragging it in one direction. So again, I'm gonna demonstrate it here. So again, a clean, damp J cloth pretty quickly. I'm starting to wipe it across until I get the finish that I like and I keep working it. Now, even though the second drawer is looking a little darker than the top drawer, don't be concerned. Even if you applied a little bit more than you did last time, that's okay. You have an open period before this will completely set up. So you can work it. You can keep removing it or you can add to it if you want it to be a deeper look whichever your preference is, but just keep working at it until you get to the finish that you want. Just make sure before you go to the next drawer, if you're doing a dresser like I am, that you wash out the J cloth and rinse out as much of that product as you possibly can because the J cloth is gonna get full of the stuff and then it's going to streak. And then your project is gonna start looking muddy. So you don't want that. So just make sure that you rinse your cloth out before you start on the next drawer. And then to finish your beautiful project, you're going to add a top coat. So I just use this top coat and it'll dry clear so it's not gonna yellow or change the effect. And then I changed out my hardware to this gold hardware just to create a more modern look. And this is it. I created this beautiful wood look using chalk paint. 
and I can't believe how beautiful this looks. It truly looks like white oak. I'm so pleased with this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I will be updating the rest of my white painted furniture in future videos, so I hope you come back for that. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.